clearly see that it, it, it needs a certain uh, kind of quality to be able to deliver a pass like that, Jude. I mean, this is what we want mm -hmm. A player of his quality will always come to party. Should be showing glimpses of a genius that he is. Look, nimble-footed. We've seen him, you know, try those passes, you know, in, in the Ghana Premier League. But this was sublime. This was expertly done. With the outside of his foot and the vision to see the speed of Patrick Raza. Yeah. And, and just threading that pass outside, you know, with, with the boots. And that was, that was perfect. You need him to do that week in, week out. Live up to the billing. Show class. Glass Lawako, he's supposed to be the link between midfield and attack. Yeah. He, he is that man who can supply the strikers with ammunition to fire home. But anytime he, 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 he flattered to deceive, in the first half, if Wodu probably, Wodu had probably seen something, I don't know, but most of the time Wodu will stop him in the second half. But he kept faith in him, he gave him more playing time, and he was able to, to assist perfectly with that brilliant pass. Okay. But I am thinking, look, let, let's, let's take our time and go through the goal itself. Let's start from how hard to folk even built up from the back. Uh, it started from the likes of Salim uh, there in the middle, threading passes together. At this point, what should Sky FC have done? Because it seems that they, they had their eyes on uh, F.U.A. Barnier rather than uh, Awako, who was free and had lots of space to, to, to do what he wanted to do. In the first place, that was poor defending from Sky FC. Okay. Look, there are three men in defense. Mm -hmm. And even when the ball came, they were, they, were, they were lacking communication in between. Nobody knew who was to go for that ball and clear that ball. And they got it horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. So when that ball was cleared, it wasn't really cleared. Then it fell to the feet of Isaac Mensah. But here, in the picture that we have here, you see Salim Adams yeah. on the ball. Just close to him is Isaac Mensah. Yeah. Salim passes... Right to Isaac Mensah. Mm -hmm. Isaac Mensah locates a free year banner who is not a standing striker. If we can roll on a bit, if we can roll on a bit yeah. and see how things actually went when from. When the training came on, yeah. it came from Isaac Mensah yeah. to Glass. So from here, Salim would have passed to Isaac Mensah. Mm. Yes. Just look at Mensah here. And Awako was in a good position, but look at the movement of a free year banner. Just one time passing. But mm. Awako here with great vision, surrounded by four or five players. Mm. Great vision, great awareness, and he saw the run of Patrick Razak. And Razak, this time around, timed his run perfectly, perfectly well. well. And then he traded in that beautiful pass. You know what, pass. I, one thing I noticed about this is that the weight on the pass, it was perfect for, for, for Patrick Razak to run onto. And uh, at the first glance, we thought it was an offside, but we, we got to know that he was played onside by the last central defender of Sky FC. And uh, that was good vision for Awako. How many players surrounding Awako there? The, he has about five players inside but he was able to thread that pass through and that is brilliant i mean look at what they did it recently awako can no, do it as well this is wrong yeah even with how the defensemen of sky fc yeah. are shaping up against awako five players which means that you are lacking when you have a yeah. certain isaac mensa on the far right on the far left and pr17 on your right yeah watch it if awako should have given it to isaac mensa immediately isaac mensa would have been offside okay. because the, the last defender will move a little bit further. Mm -hmm. And with Awako even waiting, Isaac Mensah will be in offside position. Yeah. But look at PR17. His takeoff is even not very, very closer to where the defender is. Yeah. He, he just took off here and then look at the flight of the ball. Excellent onto the footpath. And then he also saw the goalkeeper move mm -hmm. and then place it at, the, at, the, at where the angle he felt was right. Let's go. When we roll, you see, the moment he got the ball, he just had to wait for PR17 to do the move. Yeah. And then when the movement came in, watch the outside. With, I mean, the defender over there is actually sleeping because he was still watching. Uh, Gladstone I think that was in, uh, Moro uh, for, 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 for them. Yes, I mean, he's sleeping because mm -hmm. the moment Awaku took the ball, all that he was looking out for, not for F.E.A. Barnier again, because where F.E.A. Barnier is, is very, very closer. So he's looking at the takeoff. Look at Razak. Razak. He's about to take off. And then the flight of the ball just came to meet him mm. where he felt he was in a comfortable position mm. to bury the ball. Of course. And, and one would think that it was easy for Patrick Razak to score. But that first control did the magic for him, uh, Jude. I mean, the way to the pass was perfect. Yeah. He needed great control. Then again, there was a lot of things he... I'm talking about the control yes, because yes, there yes, are times like that Patrick Razak has 
miscontrol yeah, exactly. the ball several times. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying that even when he controlled here, yeah. he had a lot to do with mm -hmm. that control. Yeah. Now, the goalkeeper was going to close in very quick and thick and fast. Yeah. But there, as a striker, just in the 16-yard box, you need composure, you need calmness. Mm -hmm. Then just look at where he struck the ball with outside of his boots yeah. to the angle. And the goalkeeper had no chance because he took it quickly. After the control, just one control and then outside the foot, bang, okay. to the top corner. So it, it was more or less like Patrick Razak actually knew what he wanted to do even before the ball came to him because the goalkeeper was rushing yeah. and all he needed to do was just poke yeah, the ball Yeah, you need to think, in, 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 the, in the final zone, in that 16-yard ball, the moment you had a control, you mm -hmm. need to think, am I going to go for a shot or am I placing it? You, you need to have something on your mind. And immediately, he controlled that ball perfectly well. Mm. He knew the goalkeeper who close in. Quickly, he dispatched with that side of his boot. Now, say so this, this, this actually brings me to the question. Why don't we see Glasson Awaku doing this week in, week out for heart of folk? Because if you have a player who can just give one pass and take out about four players. I mean, we've seen Glasson Awaku at Great Olympics, and we were expecting him to actually uh, re replicate that format, heart of folk. But it's not been so. We just see glimpses. Every now and then. It's all about glass and a wako. self motivator should be a wako, And then he should know what he wants to do when the ball is being given to him. The moment the ball is being flighted, he knows how to play football. Mm -hmm. That is a midfield jam. The moment he has control, he has control with both left and right. I see a wako to be a setting. He's, he's casted in the mood of Santi Cazola because the moment he takes the ball, he can equally give the pass of the left mm -hmm. and likewise the right. Mm -hmm. So this is a special player who should always have it behind him that, look, we need, I need to play to the strength of my team. The moment I get the ball, I should locate the strikers with all these telling passes. And when PL17 came in, you could see Awaku changed his style. He was, he was going for much more shorter passes with precise ones to the strikers to finish it. And that is why when the pass was being traded between Salim and then Isaac Mensah, the moment the ball came to him, he had a, a wind that, yes, every year Banier is there. He has made himself very, very big and large. Let me just go for the quick 1v1 pass and see what I can do. This was what I was expecting Kofi Koji to be doing. Because you are very, very huge, this is where you go for the ball. Open yourself up for certain players to run through you, use you as 